Hello guys and good afternoon. This is Camden and it's Chiang Mai, Thailand for now and I only have about 35 or 36 more days until I'm out of here and it's goodbye Chiang Mai and hello countryside in Thailand. So today's topic is why teachers can still have an open schedule and not have any bookings. I want to give an example. I'm not going to say who it was. I'm not going to say who it was but I'm actually, well, it's fortunate enough that I was able to actually go in and see that because what I've learned is in order to become a better teacher and a better instructor, the more that I'm learning from other teachers, whether it be good or bad, particularly I'm looking for mistakes and looking for a little crack of some, so many teachers will message me and ask, like, I want to make as much money as you or I want to make a thousand dollars or two thousand or three thousand or how can I teach online and travel around the world I'm serious a lot of people ask me questions and thank you for those questions I love those kinds of questions I really do because it gives me awareness and gives me a, a path and a method to find out solutions for these questions and answers so when I went into the profile um, this person that contacted me a long time ago and they had a, over 150 students. That's a lot. You guys have to remember that. If you had 150 students, 150 calls, and you have your schedule open a week in advance or two weeks in advance, and you got one booking a day, something is going not right in the lessons. Like you're teaching. You need to evaluate yourself too. If you're doing something that's not right or not good or not effective, it's, and it's not enabling the students to come back to you, then you have to be honest with yourself. You have to go and look at the look inside, look in the mirror and figure out what you need to do and how you need to improve. So this is why. I know I just went two minutes on that and a lot of people will complain, you just talk so much, you never get to the point. Well, I'm building it up, okay? So, very simple. When a student writes a comment about the lesson, first of all, I would say maybe 10% will actually write a comment. I get it maybe once every two days, once every three days, okay? Maybe just a couple times a week. So for someone to finish the lesson and then have the confidence and, yeah, the confidence and the trust to write something in English that's not their native language it's different than just saying, hello, how are you? They got to write it. They got to think about it and then enter it. You know, it's a whole thing, a whole process for a student to do that. And for them to take out time of their busy day to do that and to show their appreciation and you haven't written back to them. Okay, I got that. Like I haven't written back to every single comment. So I'm not coming up here as a hypocrite and trying to just like whoosh, everybody, you know, I'm not a hypocrite. I speak from making the same mistakes. But what I want to say is to people who are not getting full schedules or even part-time schedules or not filling up the lessons that they really want. If you have less lessons or if you don't have the lessons that you really want, you have to look at your comment section. So in that teacher's profile, they have over 150 students some of them double digit on the hours in the conversation with the teacher. But I looked at their comments and they were all good positive comments. The students really liked the teacher and like positive stuff. Thank you so much. And just everything. I didn't see any negative criticism of the lesson, but I saw no teacher replies. I saw, I was, then I started to look at another teacher's and I, like six students commented and then one reply and people are wondering why they're not getting their schedules filled so filled so anyway this is gonna be a really quick video for today i just wanted to get that quick just that awareness you guys have to go to your profile right now and look at your comments and you need to answer every single comment you got to try to do it within 24 hours no more than 72 hours if I miss one, it's because you know I've had 18 lessons in a row or 20 lessons in a row and I'm trying to finish the feedbacks. And sometimes 
they may comment something and it was like last week and I got to scroll and I can't find it and then sometimes they write a comment and delete it because you'll get notification. I mean, how easy is it? You don't even have to check your profile. You just go to your messages and Palfish has notifications on there and you'll know when a student leaves a comment for you and then boom, thank you. You did such a great job in the lesson. Let's improve on your spoken English next time. Let's build confidence together. Don't be afraid to ask me questions. You have to say those type of things. Don't just go right to the chase and say, I miss you so much. I can't wait to see you in the lesson again. I mean, yeah, that's great. But you want to throw out some bait instead of just acting so desperate, okay? Because when you act desperate or impatient, and this is coming from personal experience, it's going to show up a lot more in written word. And of course, when because because that's the only thing that they can see. So make sure you're taking care of every single thing along the way. And again, just as a reiteration for everyone who's following you, everyone who likes your stuff, you got to engage. You have to write messages to people. You can't just let things go. You have to take action. You know, when I started on Palfish full time, it was everything. And I wake up and Palfish is the way that I direct my day, you know. So if you're not directing your day around Palfish, then that's a lot of, you're being leaving yourself very vulnerable. And you're leaving yourself open for a lot more teachers to flood in. And they're going to have the open schedule. They're going to have the positive attitude. They're going to do a great job in the lesson. And still, some people are asking me, how do I sell packages and stuff like that? Look, I'll be honest. I got an 8% sell rate on my packages. Did I sell packages? Yes. But I didn't, for whatever reason, you know, I have 21 classes in a day, but I didn't really have a great conversion rate for my trial classes from people buying packages and stuff. So I want that, I want you guys to know that about my record and I'm not ashamed or scared to say that because that's just the truth. And then on top of that, if you really want to know about selling courses and stuff like that and how to be great in class, you got to know yourself, you got to know your truth. Look, like when I start a class with a student and it's most of my classes are students that I've known for a long time. First of all, and so it's like hey, the first 5 minutes I always do my best to ask a whole list of questions, different style of intonation, different way of saying it, different camera angles, different facial expressions and gestures, and I'm not just looking like a clown, I'm getting my point across. And you have to learn how to articulate your voice. And look, you are the teacher, you are the instructor, you are the leader. You have got to have a commanding voice to direct that student. And for the parents to believe in you, boom, done, right there. Guys, thank you so much. This is Camden. I'm signing off for today. If you have any questions or comments, I love to listen and read them below. Listen, I love to read them below and answer them. And if anyone interested to take a TEFL course in Bangkok, Thailand, it's in the links in the description. If you want to teach on Palfish, there's also a link in that in my description. And by the way, if you're going to do Airbnb, anyway, just check out the links in my description. I try to do that to extend my helping hand and things that have helped me along my travels and things that helped me along my life. I'm going to put that in that description and I don't care about the criticism because I can't even see it. You have got to come to a place in your life where you can't even see the negativity. It's there, but you're not going to allow yourself like, a hot piece of bread, like a toast, and butter. You're not gonna let that butter melt into it, you know? You're gonna be like like a cold, freezing cold piece of toast, and that butter wants to get on there and melt, but it's not, it's gonna stick and bounce, you know, it's not gonna even, people probably gonna be like, what is Kim talking about? I don't know, I just went on a, uh, I just made that up off the top of my head, so. My point is, don't allow yourself to open up to negativity. And the last two weeks with my schedule, and the busyness and the management, getting up at 5, 5.30 o'clock every morning and 
not only making a habit of that, but making it like essential part of my day and a necessary requirement. And this morning I went to the DMV real quick. I went to the DMV to get my license renewal and it didn't work out because I need to have some extra documentation, like a medical certificate from a doctor here saying that I'm, you know, I'm clean, everything's good to go, healthy. And I just go back and take a little course, five hour, one hour test, driving test, and then done. And then five hours, uh, five years in Thailand. So I didn't get that, but I took off the morning and I took off afternoon. Now, every day, besides Saturday and Sunday, in the mornings have been fully loaded, you know? So right now, just having these few hours where I'm not in that repetitive mode with my students, um, I'm able to not only upload this video, but also have time to take care of my health and take care of some things because when your schedule gets so busy, you have got to make sure that you come back to the basics. You've got to take care of yourself. So anyway, guys, thank you so much. And I'm hoping the best for you guys out there. I'm rooting for you. I was an underdog too, you know, and I'm rooting for you guys out there. But you guys got to do your own part. You got to do your own part. And that's pretty much it, guys. You know, there's a teacher training on Palfish. That's a great way to get trained and start to earn how to make money on teaching English online. And you can contact me on Messenger. And just trying to leave everything open as much as I can for people to get a hold of me. And uh, open up opportunities for people. So thank you so much for allowing me to share this message. I think I was talking about something then I got sidetracked. But anyway, you guys have a great day. Stay positive, stay healthy, and be happy with where you are. And you got to have the drive and the motivation to get up in the morning and keep moving forward. All right, that's it for now. Thank you so much.